The sun rose over oceans with no memory, and the night fell with no one to dream it. Life, still dormant, awaited its awakening. Until a spark, tiny, invisible, changed the story of our world forever. A cell that could sense light. It had no eyes, no mind, no thoughts, but it felt. It could tell light from dark, day from night. And in that simple gesture, perception was born. It happened in ancient seas, over 600 million years ago. There, in the depths, single-celled organisms drifted with the currents. They were simple. But one of them, perhaps by chance, carried a molecule sensitive to light. Photopsin. That was the first eye. It had no shape, no color only a biochemical reaction to sunlight. Over time, those light-sensitive cells evolved. They clustered, they communicated, and in more complex organisms, they began to gather in one part of the body. First, a patch, then a dimple, a shallow cup that didn't just detect light, but could tell where it came from. The cup eye was born. Now creatures didn't just sense the day. They knew where danger lurked. Light became a tool, sight, an advantage. Those who could see better lived longer. Those who lived longer left more offspring. And thus, evolution sculpted with patience, with trial, with error. Each change was small. A deeper curve, a darker pigment, a quicker nerve. Millions of years passed. And in one of those small changes, a membrane turned transparent. It curved, it bent the light. The lens was born. For the first time, the world came into focus. The world had shape, edges, distance. The world became visible, and with it, more dangerous. Some eyes evolved underwater like those of mollusks, others on land like those of insects. But two great lineages forged different paths toward perfection. Cephalopods and vertebrates. Octopuses and squids crafted incredible eyes. Flawless retinas, no blind spots, no structural flaws. They seemed designed. But we vertebrates took a different road, a clumsier one, improvised. Our retina is backward. The nerves run in front of the light-sensitive cells, and where they all meet, we can't see. That's the blind spot. A mistake, an accident, number, a consequence. Because evolution doesn't design, it modifies. It doesn't start from scratch. It builds on what's already there. As eyes advanced, so did the world. Continents drifted, oceans withdrew, creatures crawled onto land. With every new era, eyes adapted to sunlight to forest mist, to the silence of night, giant eyes in deep sea squid, compound eyes in insects, side-placed eyes in prey animals, watching without turning, and forward-facing eyes in predators, calculating their next strike. Then, about 200 million years ago, mammals appeared, small, nocturnal, cautious, their world was twilight. Mammals developed eyes for low light, eyes that could spot movement, 
Eyes that could recognize shapes in the dark. And behind those eyes, a brain. Because the eye alone doesn't see, it captures light. The brain sees. That brain began to remember. To anticipate, to dream of things that never were. And finally, after millions of years of mutation, adaptation, and persistence, You arrived. You watching this. You who blink without thinking. Who can focus in a split second. Who can read, recognize and cry. Your eyes can perceive over 10 million colors. Adjust from darkness to daylight in moments. And they're connected to over half of your brain. Yet they still carry the old flaws. The backward retina, the blind spot, the legacy of ancient improvisation. You were not designed, you were sculpted by necessity, by chance, by time. Today, thanks to your eyes, you can look to the past. You can see galaxies, read poetry, fall in love with a glance. You can cry and remember why. Every blink is an echo of evolution. Every glance a tribute to the creatures who could not see. To the blind cave fish. To the first to sense light without knowing what it was. Their legacy lives in you. The eye was not created in a day. Not crafted in a lab. Not imagined by a master hand. It was earned. Step by step. Molecule by molecule. Mutation by mutation. For more than 600 million years. So the next time you look at the world, think of what it cost. Because every gaze is life's victory. And every ray of light that enters your pupil carries an ancient message. You are here and you can see.